A documentary report on Al Buti, Buti Iban's family. Al Buti, Buti Iban's family, comes from a pure Arab origin, from the core of the Arabian Peninsula, to be more specific, from Al Naim tribe, derived from the singular noun Al Naimi, from the tribe of the clan rooted back to Allah's Messenger, Salah Allah Alea Wasalam, from Khazra, from Al Azid Katan, from Al Barkiraban, from Al Jafali. As has been proven by history, testimonies, and manuscripts relating to first-generation men, in addition to confirmed ancient historians, supported by some old people in Al Buti's family, or according to Al Naim's family members in person, all make it sure that they descend from Zubara area and belong to Al Naim tribe. That is, Sir Dal Kuwas Emirs from Kuwaiti well-off people who are commonly renowned as distinguished humans in both religious and secular aspects. Zubara City The archaeological city of Zubara dates back to the 17th and 19th centuries. Furthermore, the city is registered in the World Heritage List. Zubara's location is extremely significant since it sets up the system of ruling in the Arabian Gulf. The unique location of Zubara was the criteria upon which it was decided to be added to the UNESCO organization. It has been mentioned by Mr. Fasal Al Naimi, head of archaeological department and Qatar Museum's authority, that the heritage is regarded as an indispensable document for nations and peoples. To make our pride rise, in the square opposite the Zubara Citadel, where the UNESCO model is situated, a historical confirmed witness is available as an obvious proof of the city's site registration in UNESCO World Heritage Sites on 22nd of June, 2013. Al Naim clan is one of the tribes that is frequently mentioned in historical sources based on documented reports and historical books. One of these sources, for instance, is a page relating to the family blog of Qatar's ruling family, in addition to one more source called a study in anthropology. Moreover, the testimony has been assured by Dr. Annie Montini, who obtained a doctorate degree for a study that she did on the Al Naim tribe. The professor said in the introduction of her PhD thesis, I have written down about a tribe regarded as obscure for a great deal of people. Al Buti Al Naimi, who belongs to the deep rooted tribe, emigrated from the Zubara region in Qatar to Kuwait in the first half of the 17th century with the Al Khalifa and never came back to Zubara. Al Buti is considered the third person who had emigrated to Kuwait. During the migration to Kuwait, Al Buti had accompanied his son and his brother Ibrahim with his sons, servants, Al Khalif, Al Jazawi, six ships, and an Al Bagla called Al Ganja. Number of the six vessels, called Bakakir and Batalin, along with the Kalalif, was as follows. Haji Ahmed, ancestors, Ashram, Banithwaini, forefathers, Sunna, Welda Kruv, ancestors. They immigrated all for the aim of trading. The Immigration Al Buti had immigrated from Zubara to Kuwait in almost 1750 and stayed in the Al Midan, nearby Al Kamis Mosque. The First Fence The first wall was erected during the reign of Sheikh Zabah bin Jaber in 1760 AD. Everyone participated in the construction of the first fence, and there was a gate called Bin Buti, bin Buti which served as the fourth or fifth gate. The current location of that gate, nowadays, is the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. The first wall was the first fence of its type known in Kuwait. It extends from the coast, locating in the north of Bahita Slope, in the place of the Saif Palace today. The wall was built of mud between houses. Afterwards, they had moved from the square to Shark area. They had built a mosque, the second fence, and the big house. Ben Buti Mosque The first work of the Buti was the construction of a mosque called the Ben Buti Mosque. The mosque is considered a historical heritage because it is the third oldest mosque in Kuwait. This mosque was founded in the year 1190 AH or 1776 AD. 
The mosque is located on Al Khalij Street, adjacent to Duania Al Asusi, opposite Souk Shar, surrounded by the houses of Buti, Butaiber. The first imam for worshippers in that mosque was the Buti Al Buti Butaiber, succeeded by Imam Saud Al Asfor, who belongs to Al Asfor family, whose son Abdul Aziz Al Asfor took over the responsibility as imam. Then Imam Muhammad Said Al Kayat, in addition to Muezzin, Jazim Al Shaharn, and Othman Al Issa, who was Imam and preacher, came from the Adasani family. The second fence. The family of Buti Butaiber participated in the construction of the second wall in the era of Sheikh Jaber bin Abdullah Al Sabah in 1814 A.D. Bin Buti Dwarza. It is one of the gates of the second wall of Kuwait and is the first gate from the east. The Bati family set up a tower called Gula overlooking the Saif Palace. This tower is a special room used for guarding and surveillance. Furthermore, the family had built Dwarza in the second fence of Kuwait. It is considered the first gate from the east and it is called Ben Buti Gate. The Grand House Shortly after that, the family of Buti Buti Ben took the task of building their own grand house next to the fence from the inside, close to the house of Bing Bakker, heading for Saif Square. The door of this house from the south is opposite Dwarza, and the north gate is opposite the Tower of Gula. The number of family members in all was 80 people, including servants. A part of the house from the south was sold to the Ali Adabus family. Bin Buti Nakaha, water spot, Bin Buti. The Buti family has more than one water spot in front of their homes in the shark area. This spot is dedicated to anchor the boats. It was customary when boats returned that the people of all kinds, men, women, and children, receive the vessels in the form of a formal ceremony and prepare food consisting of roasts and grilled fish. Having the timber pulled down, food was cooked. Thus, sheikhs were invited due to the fact that they enjoy eating Buti al Muhammad food. The year of Taba, the year when the boat sank in 1871. The Bin Buti family had owned one of the largest boats ever called Bagla and also known as Al Ganja. This vessel was designed for long distance travel, especially when they were traveling to Bombay for trading and brought wood, ropes, etc as well as all ship and construction materials. During the voyage, passengers were subjected to severe storms. As a result, all boats belonging to the Buti family sank, including Ganja. In addition, all the passengers from the family members lost their lives, what caused bitter grief and sorrow. Only women and children and the elderly lived in that time, which led to the suffering of this deep-rooted family for a long time. But thanks to the generosity of God, the family was able to return strong again. As Nokatha, the vessel owner, Sultan Buti Batiban, also reminds us that they were traveling by the boat. Nanja accompanied the pilgrims from Kuwait to Jeddah to perform the Hajj and bring with them those who want to work in Kuwait to Bin Moash, who took the responsibility for settling down their measures of residency. People who were mentioned as drowned during the voyage, according to Taba, are as follows. Buti al-Buti and some of his sons. Some of Abrahim al-Buti's siblings and the servants. Those who survived after Taba are Aisha and Amina, Buti al-Buti daughters. Kamis, Mubarak, and Fatima, Abrahim al-Buti's sons and daughters and workmen. After Taba, the year when the ship sank, Shortly after Taba and the disastrous incident of drowning all the trading ships, Buti family moved to work in the craft diving and continued to do that career until the oil appeared. The following names belong to Nakatha. Al-Buti Butaiban were as follows. Buti Al-Buti Butaiban, Bin Shabib Buti Butaiban, Aid Al-Buti Butaiban, Saif Al-Buti Butaiban, Ahmed bin Majed al Buti Butaiban, Kamis al Buti Butaiban, Sultan Abdullah al Buti Butaiban, 
Abdul Aziz Jazim Al Buti Butai Ben was one of the most famous divers in the eastern neighborhood and distinguished by the strength of the body and the length of breath while diving. Why was Butai Ben called by that name? The name Al Buti was written on the front of the boats and placed in the ship's forehead. When the boats returned from their journeys, whoever watched them from afar chanted, Al Buti appeared to illustrate that Albuti ships came into sight. Over time, the word Butai Ben became associated with the family name and became known as the Buti Butai Ben. A rumor. It was rumored that Albuti family had been passed away after the shipwreck disaster when they were traveling for trading to India. It was also spread that the whole family had perished, leaving only one woman alive, and then she died. And of course the rumor was unintended, but came as a result of the current status quo at that time, which, in turn, inspired people to believe it. As a matter of fact, the woman who survived was Grandma Aisha bint Buti al Buti, who in turn told the Nakatha, Sultan Buti Butaben, about the conditions of the family and everything related to them. Moreover, Aisha Albuti told Nakatha that the Albuti family had no marital relations outside the members of their family, based upon the fact that men were married to their female cousins. The Nakatha Sultan recorded all that he heard and knew from Grandma Aisha and from other statesmen who experienced the era of Albuti, the grandfather. Also, he recorded everything related to the family throughout his life. That effort by the Nakatha Sultan is seen as an official document that served as a reference for generations to go through. Over time, the name Butaiban clung to the minds of the people, and they forgot the family's original name, Albuti or Binbuti. For those reasons, the tribe's family in Zubara found it hard to discover any details about Albuti al Naimi in Shark Area in Kuwait. The Searching Task In the 1960s, a group of men came looking for Al Buti, and as usual, they did not get any information, and then returned home forever. Return to the Searching Task Uncle Muhammad bin Nasser al Jafali al Nuaimi, who was residing in Qatar, has researched for the subject. We contacted each other and repeated visits. On the other hand, Mr. Faisal bin Abdullah al Jaber al Nuaimi, director of the Department of Archaeology and Museums in Qatar, was contacted, and the man has exerted great efforts in searching and provided the family with valuable information, as well as confirmed documents related to the tribe. The message. A message was written by Uncle Muhammad bin Nasser al Jafali al Nuaimi, where he mentioned, our grandfather and yours is the same. In Qatar, there are two of our ancestors known as Buti. One of these ancestors participated in Amsaya battle in Qatar. The poet, Bin Meshrif al-Tamimi, mentioned the following verses of poetry about that battle. عدوا مساعير الحرايب نعيمي يوم اللقاء يفرح بهم كل بلشان ذباحة الملبس وستر الحريمي And the second booty was the grandson of the first one who participated in the Battle of Hamuror in Qatar. The third booty was one member who laid the foundation of the state and had immigrated to Kuwait and loved it. Al-Buti Butai Ben houses in the Shark area. Mutza al Butiti House, known as Al Bahita, adjacent Al Butaba, opposite Bin Buti Mosque. Al Buti houses stretch from the mosque to the Saif Palace and were built of mud, tree trunks, and palm fronds. Afterwards, Al Buti Butai Ban family moved from Shark Al Bahita towards Al Hilal Shaki area called Al Akul. Lulu Al Buti Butai Ban House. It is a big house, locating at Al Saif Road. In addition to Yaqub Al Buti Butai Ban House, Salman Al Buti Butai Ban House, located at Ras Aliyar Sikat Saad, Sons Yasim Al Buti Butai Ban House, Abdullah Abdullah Aziz 
Saif and Yusuf. Nasser bin Ahmad Majid al Bute Butai Ben House, located opposite Al Barja. It exists now at Al Babtin Library. Ibrahim Abdullah al Bute Butai Ben House, Id al Bute Butai Ben House, in Mangif. He lived in the desert. Bhutti siblings' house, Saif and Hamad. Opposite this house, you can see a hole known as Al Bhutti Hole. When the house was sold to Al Abjel family, the hole took their name, Al Abjel Hole. Ahmed Majid Al Bhutti Bhutta Iban House. It is located next to Alice Four Shop. Opposite the house, there's a hole called Ahmed Majid Hole. After Ahmed Majid had died, the house was sold to Al Hashash family. Therefore, the hole was called Al Hashash Hole. They cut off part of the house either for sale or for rent and were settled by Kuwaiti family.